Automated GUI testing using FrogLogic Squish. For those of you not familiar with FrogLogic, we're headquartered in Hamburg, Germany, and are privately held. We were established in 2003 and have had steady revenue growth and been profitable since we were established. For anyone in the Americas, we've had U.S. presence since 2009, and we have a large and growing customer base throughout the world. The icons below represent some of the more than 3,000 companies currently using Squish. Now before we dive into the product specifically, let's go over a few basics of automated GUI testing. Automated GUI testing is testing done at the graphical user interface level. UI regression testing, so regression testing your application at the interface level. It's there to help imitate user actions. You can run your tests unmanned, so executing them around the clock as part of your build process or as part of another process. And it provides a nice complement to manual testing, freeing up more time for manual testing or to create additional tests for your regression test suite. Why automate? It'll really help improve your quality and stability of your product, whether you're identifying issues faster because you're running tests around the clock, all with varying input. You're increasing your testing coverage. You're testing more in a lesser period of time or maybe more in the same period of time and also testing additional scenarios that may not have been possible just performing manual testing, whether it was time constraints or just the intricate details involved in a data-driven test scenario, for example. Another thing that is increasing your testing coverage is the ability to test across multiple machines simultaneously. Now, as far as improving testing accuracy, you're helping to eliminate human error. Now, while human error can be good in some circumstances, it can also be good to eliminate human error when you're trying to make sure that your application hasn't regressed or moved backward from its prior release. Another thing commonly overlooked about automated testing and one of its benefits is the knowledge sharing that comes with automated GUI testing. The ability to share not only the results, but share how it was reproduced being able to share the execution of those different scenarios, as well as over time help to identify common areas of failure and how you might improve either the code in that area or improve your testing to make sure that you don't miss those critical areas. Now let's talk about Squish. Squish is a cross-platform, multi-technology, GUI automated testing solution. We work across different platforms supporting a variety of technologies, and we support those technologies on the platforms on which they are supported. For example, Java, not limited to just Windows or Mac. Maybe you have a Java application that works across Windows, Mac, Linux, and you want to be able to create a single set of tests that work across all of those platforms. Not a problem. The same applies for any of the other technologies that we support and then those technologies will be able to be tested on the platforms on which they are supported. Tests created on one platform for cross-platform applications will work the same and do not need to be modified when run against other platforms on which that application is supported. Now why Squish over other tools out there? Squish has dedicated knowledge of each of the GUI toolkits that it supports. This intricate knowledge is going to help you be able to work with not only controls across the different technologies that Squish supports, but also be able to work with your more complex or your custom controls. Hybrid application testing allows us to work with multiple GUI toolkits together from a single solution. And not to mention that we also share our source code with customers. Now Squish also is going to provide you with powerful record and playback functionality, as well as scripting. Now our scripting languages we've chosen because they're non-proprietary and they're cross-platform, meaning your tests are going to work across the different platforms on which the technology you're testing is supported, and these scripting languages are real-world languages. We're not trying to limit you, but expand what you can do with your testing framework. We also provide record and playback functionality, and the scripting languages and the record and playback work hand in hand. When it comes to executing tests and distributing your testing across your testing framework, you're going to have the option to work with our different command line tools, as well as the extensive set of integrations that we provide. 
whether executing your tests as part of a batch process, as part of a build process, or by assigning the various tests as work items, each of the integrations provide a different way that you can interact with those tools natively as well as with Squish. The command line interface gives you the ability to either incorporate batch files, shell or bash scripts, or include those command line calls from your third party application as well. Taking a look at a bird's eye view of the Squish architecture, you're able to create tests from the Squish IDE by simply clicking record. And behind the scenes, the Squish runner is connecting via TCP IP, whether that's local or to a remote machine, to the listening Squish server service, which is then injecting a hook in the application while launching it, allowing it to then report back the different actions that were recorded into a test script. Again, those test scripts are then created in the scripting language you've chosen to use, Python, Perl, JavaScript, Tekel, or Ruby. When executing tests, it's a one-to-many relationship. Still from the IDE or whether using the command line interface or one of our integrations, the test scripts will be taken in by the Squish runner, which connects again over TCP IP, local or remote, to one or more listening Squish server services, which then launch the application, execute the tests, returning the results back to the Squish runner, which then outputs those results. Download an evaluation at froglogic.com evaluate and see our other resources at froglogic.com resources. Thank you for watching.